So I have an update to what we might as well call the story of the summer because this is going to go on all summer, I promise you. It does not look like this is going to slow down. I think they are going to lose their top spot by Memorial Day. I think it's going to happen. I do. It's not slowing down. And their little attempt to look more patriotic now with these camo bottles. Here's what they look like, by the way. The Budweiser right here. They're going to have to change King of Beers pretty soon. And then here's the Bud Light version. How stupid do they think you are? Oh, we'll just change these patriotic bottles and everyone will just brush everything under the rug and forget about it all. I don't think that's going to happen, Anheuser-Busch. But this is what they're doing. This is their attempt to win you back. Exploiting fallen soldiers, too, by the way. So we'll see if that works. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So they're doing something else. Now to kind of take the the pain away from the wholesalers and the customers. They are now buying back unsold beer because wholesalers and you know stores out there have so much backup now <laughs> that they have packages that are expiring. So Anheuser-Busch is coming in and buying a lot of those back so that people aren't hit even harder. But it just shows you how bad this stuff is selling. I have a breakdown of that that we'll go over too because the sales is up to, the sales are down. I'm sorry. Uh, they're down about 26% now, up to 29 in some parts of the country. So I do want to go over that because, well, I mean, <laughs> this, is, this is a crazy story that just keeps getting wilder every day. Bud Light is ready to buy back unsold cases of expired beer that sat on shelves as consumers revolted over their partnership with Dylan Mulvaney. Bud Light sales have plunged 26% compared to the time this time last year amid backlash from its customers over woke marketing pitch. Now it's revealed that the brewer has told its wholesalers that it will buy back unsold cases of beer that have gone expired. Bud Light also plans to overhaul its branding with support for veterans and focusing ads on all American themes like football and country music. Yeah, we've seen that. I went over one of the ads where they had a bunch of kids partying. Well, not kids. I mean, 20-somethings, college-aged kids, whatever, uh, at a country music festival, and they're all getting their Bud Lights and getting ready to go watch a show. (laughs) It, of course, was ratioed into hell. And they've tried this before. It was funny. They did their little horse thing. They had a little, the little horse running around to all these American places. Got downvoted to hell. It's not working. They're going to try to keep doing it. They're going to put a lot of money into marketing. You're going to see a lot of Bud Light ads over the next couple of weeks. And they're all going to get downvoted to hell or enlisted. Because <laughs> they refuse to acknowledge this at all. And every time that they have acknowledged this, they blame you. Uh, that was funny. The CEO was like, yeah, the social media, these people are blowing it way out of proportion. And, and we never meant for this to happen. It was just one can. It was just one can. Well, it was one can too many, apparently, for your customers. They're not happy. Speaking of not happy, they've also been hit by the left. Their ESG score is probably getting nailed now. The biggest LBGTQ plus group in the country has taken away Bud Light, Anheuser-Busch's 100% rating about, you know, being for equality and stuff. Some rating they give out that I'm sure goes towards the factoring of their ESG score. Uh, That has been retracted, so I'm pretty sure their ESG score is getting affected now, which is... What they care about more than you, by the way. So I'm surprised they haven't pivoted more to the left. They care more about that ESG score than they do about getting your money. And it's it's every company. It's not just them. Every company cares about that ESG score over you. It's backwards thinking. 
because they just you, they get that so that they can get interest free loans. So that's what's going on with that. That's why you're seeing all these companies do this, by the way, is because of those ESG scores, which undoubtedly has been affected. But they're losing so many customers that they don't know what to do. This is why this is such a fun story to cover because they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't. It's a it's a wild it's a wild ride. So they're buying back all this beer. All this beer that's expired is going back, and they're going to have to destroy it. They're giving away beer, basically. Uh, as Tim Pool here says, 20 bucks for a case of beer that gives you 20 bucks back. Bud Light is giving away their beer to probably make it look like sales are returning. They go, look, investors, our, our sales are back. <laughs> but we didn't tell you that we were giving out coupons, which, by the way, don't work for men. They don't work for men. Men don't use coupons. Sure, I bet some do. I'm sure there's a small group that do. But for the most part, men don't use them. That's why they're always aimed towards women. So they're giving away these coupons. Not going to work. This just shows you how, how out of touch their marketing is. Bunch of idiots running this company. Morons. How has the CEO not been fired is my question. <laughs> How is the CEO not fired? Why is this guy still in charge? If I own Anheuser-Busch stock, that would be my first question in an earnings call. Why are you still here? This guy has fumbled this company to the lowest point it's ever been at. Yeah, this guy right here, this, is, this guy's a moron. How is this guy still running Anheuser-Busch? If I was an investor, I would be asking that question. But look at this. So in the mountain states, you have sales as low. They've gone low 25. They're down 29%. That's embarrassing. 29% now in some parts of the country. 25% in the west, north, central area. East, north, central is 235 you have the eastern, south, central area at 25, south Atlantic, 25, mid-Atlantic, 19, New England at 14, California area, Pacific, 18%. But that mountain state area, that is crazy, 29% down. That's, that's amazing to see. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Keep it going. How low can things go? So that's where we're at. This is the big update. I think the fact that they're now buying back expired beer is pretty insane. A lot of this shit is going to end up going back to Bud Light, Anheuser-Busch. Probably mostly Bud Light. That's the biggest brand affected. But don't forget, it's not just Bud Light that's being affected. All of their brands as a whole are being affected because of this. Everything's down from Bush to Michelob to Budweiser to Bud Light. So I don't think it's going to get better for them anytime soon. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Throw a like up, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube, they'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.